All right, Sprinter. Today, we talk about how to make your business more simple, more fun, and more repeatable. Many of you guys, you want the automation. Simon, how can I free up more time? I don't have enough time. I want more time. And ideally, I want an automated business that works while I sleep and is generating passive income. And I want just to do the fun stuff, the 15% that I really enjoy. They are in my zone of genius. Can I automate the rest, outsource the rest? Well, some of it, yes. 85% can be automated. And what's the first step? It is mapping. So before you automate, you have to map. And in the next four videos, I will show you how to map your business so that you have a simple business that's repeatable and fun. The next video will be how you can use AI to help you uh, write the SOPs, so to document those. Then I will show you some activation levels, how you can create a referral engine out of the same um, mapped business that we call the value ladder, how you create value in each step. And the last bit will be how you can create a fully uh, overview, all the magic in one place, we call it the playbook. So let's start with the value ladder. This is where we start mapping your business and it's pretty straightforward. The first question uh, to answer here is who is it for and was it, what is it for? So your sprint coach uh, will give you feedback on this, but here you will write who is your ideal client. Let's say your ideal client is the CEO of a small business in New York and they have three dogs. I'm just writing something here, right? What is it for? It's the main problem that it solves. It's, it saves them 30% from taxes because we have a better way of organizing their tax reports. Um, then we start with awareness and engagement, then sales, operations, and retainment. So what's your way of creating awareness? I go to LinkedIn and I create polls, then I follow up on those polls. All right, what's the status? Here it's asking you the status of it. So is it manual, documented, or automated? Manual means every time you reinvent the wheel um, and you would, you would pick this emoji. So yeah, uh, actually every time I do LinkedIn, it's always the same. Uh, I have to think about it on the spot. That's why it takes me three hours. Or you say, no, no, I have a full checklist for that. I have an edit editorial calendar. So it's documented. Then you say, all right, it's documented. You give it the documented sign. Or you say, oh no, that's fully automated, Simon. I have uh, five people in Pakistan doing that and two on the Philippines and I do nothing. So it's fully automated. And you continue doing the same thing for engagement. Uh, how do you engage them from there? So maybe it's a quiz. Hey, do this quiz and in 12 minutes you will know more about what you can do. The same thing for sales. How is your sales flow? Most people have a first session, a second session, and they close in the second session. In our method, you will learn about the discovery session, the first session, and the demo session where you close. Then how do you send the offer, the proposal, the statement of work? How do they pay? How can you make it easy for them to pay? Can you document it? Can you automate it? Then operations. What's your main offer, your main program? How does the client onboarding look like? How can you make it a wow? And then the activation levels that I will explain in the next video. And activation levels are important because they are the foundation for referrals. Activation levels are energetic uh, peak moments in the experience with you. And if you ask for a referral at that moment, the probability is much higher. That's why when you have the activation levels at that unlock you will celebrate the unlock you will say congrats you've just unlocked your level two you have saved 30 percent taxes congrats by the way do you know three people who need this and now they will want to give you three names and introduce you so operations also how happy are they net promoter score 
um, or other ways of asking them for what you can improve, what's great right now and what else they need. And then retainment. How can you create more work out of this work, either by expanding your same service or product or program or by having cross-sells, upsells um, or, or retainers. So as ways of retaining them, keeping, keeping delivering value for them and with them. So that's the value ladder. Uh, in the next videos, I'm going to show you uh, the, the details of the activation points and how you can do that. For now, just do a, a quick value ladder and get work critique from your coach on this because that's step number one. So uh, enjoy the value ladder tag your coach and um, with any questions and get work critique so that we can move on to step number two that you will find in the next video. What if your business would run well even when you are on vacation? Discover how 1,600 business owners have regained their freedom using the Strategy Sprint's blueprints. How they enjoy living their dream and watching their business scale. Get the exact checklists they use to go from stressed to fulfilled using the Strategy Sprints method. Order your copy of Strategy Sprints 12 Ways to Accelerate Growth for an Agile Business on Amazon today. And if you love it, leave us a review. For more information, head over to strategysprints.com.